In Exodus chapter 32, we have the story of the golden calf. Now, the children of Israel that God led through the Red Sea and out of Egypt, now they want to make a God, a false God, that, quote, will lead them out before, lead them before. So they are concerned that Moses has not come, returned from the mountain, and they now are breaking the first commandment that God had given them about having other gods besides him or before him. Aaron tells them to take off the earrings. Now, these are the earrings that God had instructed them, and God, through Moses, had instructed them to take off, to get from their neighbors. And I believe these are probably the jewelry and that will be used for the um uh, for the tabernacle and the instruments in the tabernacle. Now, Aaron also breaks the number one commandment by making or chiseling an idol. Aaron builds an altar and he announces a feast for the next day for the Lord. He's mixing, mixing the worship of the true God with idol worship. They offered burnt offerings and made an immoral party out of it, in a moral party. God wants to destroy them. Moses intercedes. This is Moses who claims not to be eloquent enough to talk to the children of Israel. Moses confronts Aaron. Aaron blames the people and lies about making the image. He says he, he threw it in the fire and it came out a, a golden calf. Moses says, ground up the golden calf, and he made the people drink it. Then he told the people to choose sides, whether you're going to stand for God or not. The Levites all went to his side and stood for God. So the Levites, Moses tells the Levites to put their swords on and kill many of the people. They killed 3,000 people. Moses accepts the blame and asks God to forgive the people. And if not, he says, blot my name out of your book. And God says, only those who sin will have their names blotted out.